Hi there, it's Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. We do appreciate it. Pegg and I getting ready to do a little bit of a road trip uh, down south of here. We're going to go down and see grandson number two. We haven't seen him yet because we were not allowed in the hospital. Thank you, COVID. Um, we're going to give you a, a lot of the details about what we're going to do here in just a little bit. But uh, before we do that, a reminder, if you have not hit the subscribe button below, we'd love for you to do that. Also, that bell notification button to get notified when we put up future videos. And also the like button when we're all said and done. We'd appreciate that as well. So we're getting ready to road trip south to see our grandson. So we're actually packing up a bunch of stuff. Peg is doing that right now because I don't want to go out and buy stuff when we travel. We like to pack our own things so that we don't have to spend a lot of money when we go. Peg has got some other things that she's going to pack up, uh, snacks and such, and maybe a couple of sandwiches so that, again, we don't have to buy stuff when we go on the road. So Peg, show everybody what you did. I will. So we'll be packing a lot of our own stuff, and I'm actually going to take my own soda, and I have a... I guess this is a no-name Yeti cup. I think that is the Ozark from Walmart. So you can get those for about $10 at Walmart versus the $25, $30 Yeti cup. Yeah, Yeti cups are expensive, but these are the knockoffs. And they work just as good, to be honest. I have both. I have a Yeti cup, and I have one of the, uh, two or three of these knockoffs, but they work just as good. I've actually put ice in these, and the next day, the next day, it still has ice. So We actually did do a test, didn't we? Yeah, we did a test between the Yeti and the knockoff. And they're comparable. They are comparable. I filled both of them with a full thing of ice, left them set for a couple of days just to see what was left when everything was done. And both of them still had about a half a thing of ice after two days. So uh, these work really well. Yeah, the knockoffs are just as good as the Yeti cups. So um, I'm going to pour my own soda just so I have it so I don't pour it while I'm on the road. We're going off to Indianapolis this afternoon. So before we go on a really, really short trip, we pack a cooler. Why would we pack a cooler? Well, we are on a road. Um, it's going to be close to, let's say, going down and back. We're just going down, and it is about a couple hours away from us. So it's two hours down, two hours back, plus the time we spend there. And Steve likes to have his own drinks and soda and just snacks in the car when we go on back. It's a six. Uh, it's going to be at least six hours, my guess six to eight hours so we won't be back until probably late tonight so we do pack a cooler we have what we call a soft-sided cooler so what's so special about what's so special about this one it's got a lot of room in it so you can put a lot of soda so what's so important about this little cooler we don't want a huge cooler we have the other cooler we talked about when we're traveling this is a good size cooler that we could put a lot of things so let's see how many sodas and waters we put in since we're traveling. What we bought a while back was this, the ice block. This is a big ice block and it's refusable. So we use this when we travel or where we go out of town on a quick trip. It's 5.67 inches by 1.38 inches by 8.75 inches. It's refusable. It's an ice substitute. So the reason why we like using this cooler is here. This is the reason why. Look at that, perfect fit. The ice block is everything to keep items cold. So let's go see what we're gonna put in it. I'll be right back. Comfortably in there, at least eight sodas. This is a model uh, Igloo 161911. So you can put the cooler, the ice block at the bottom. And if you want to keep it really cold, you can put an ice block on top. So see, it's just perfect. And it does cover it. So this is how you really do keep it cold if you want to use two ice blocks. We just usually use one because we'll put other stuff in it. So what else are we going to be putting in it? We also will put other items in it. And like I said, we do do about six sodas, basically two going down two coming up plus two Dep there depending on how long we stay down there right yeah. so we try, try to do a six pack there and what i do is i actually did cut up strawberries strawberries yeah i cut up strawberries and we do use a snapper this is one of the reasons we like the snapper and it's it's great you can see that's the glass snapware too isn't it right it's a, a glass snapware we usually buy from there's a, yeah there's a big difference between the glass and the plastic the plastic has a tendency to stain the glass actually keeps things better right so what i do is i put the glass and this does fit in here perfectly so this 
literally goes underneath these. And since we're leaving about lunchtime, I packed a sandwich. I ate already, and Steve just got home from work. So, um... One thing you did not put in this box right here that I saw yet, anyway. And here, so far we packed is, of course, the infamous... Pop-Tarts. Strawberry Pop-Tarts. And I, I, I gotta be honest, uh, since COVID, I mean, we bought a big thing of Pop-Tarts at Sam's back in late November. Um, and I've not yet gone through even two of the three boxes that are in the big box because of COVID. So I'm just now starting to like strawberry uh, Pop-Tarts again. So, you know, we are... Fully recovered. Fully recovered from COVID. When we talk about COVID, we have had COVID. It's in the past now. Right. We do not have it now. Um, and a lot of people goes, why are you going out shopping when you have it? We do not have it. We did the quarantines. We follow the CDC guidelines. We do not have it right now. So right now, Steve is going to put more stuff in it. So this is the infamous stovetop box that he thought we had stovetop. You, you can tell the story. Okay. Peg, Peg, told, Peg told me that uh, we were going to have uh, um, um, a chicken for dinner and we should have stuffing and I need to stop and buy stuff. Stop at uh, Kroger and get stovetop stuffing. And I'm like, well, we have it in our pantry. She goes, no, we don't. I'm like, yes, we do. We have stovetop stuffing in the pantry. She kept saying, no, we don't. You need to stop and get some. So I did not get any because I fully believed that we had stovetop stuffing in the pantry. We didn't. It was just an empty box. Right, it's an empty box, but I do reuse it to travel because it's the perfect size to fit in the car. It could fit by your feet. And then Steve is right now pouring some snacks. Oh yeah, if you did not see these before, these are my go-to. These are, right. I love these things. These are great. The peanut butter pretzels. So yeah. we are packing snacks right now. So before we go, we'll show you what else we packed in here and we'll be right back. So. This is what we put in the box. We put, I put in water. We, you, might, you might want to put another another water in there. Uh, we will. Yeah. I'll put another water in. Um, goldfish. Peg loves goldfish. Steve's infamous Pop-Tarts. I love my Pop-Tarts. Then we have the ones that we put smaller sizes in, the chocolate, the Hershey's chocolate. We may not, may or may not have Hershey's chocolate, but uh, there are times when, you know, a, a small little Hershey bar goes a long way. And they're, they're not very many calories either, so they're a good treat. I like the small ones because if you eat a, if you buy a normal Hershey bar, you eat the whole thing. I'd rather get, just get the small ones and have one. Then we have Jolly Ranchers. I will tell you right now, Jolly Ranchers saved us during COVID because a lot of times when we had upset stomachs or we weren't feeling all that great, we just have a Jolly Rancher and that'll actually settle the, uh, my stomach anyway. And it was helping for my cough. Yep. If you hear me clearing my throat, it's because that's part of the signs I still have of COVID. Of, and then I've had it, but it's just one of the leftover signs. They said it's going to take us months to recover. Yeah, it's, there's lingering effects like uh, uh, fatigue and... Uh, um, and so on and so forth. So that's just one of them cough, a little bit of a cough. And his peanut butter pretzels. I love these things. I've told you that before. These are my go-to. I love these snacks. So we do pack it in here. So this is the perfect size and we're gonna put another bottle of water. And I'll show you exactly. So this is what I call the perfect size for a minor road trip. And of course, the fork. This is for our strawberries. Did you forget these? Do you want to take a couple of these? The uh, date on these is uh, January 10th. So if we take a couple of these, uh, maybe we can leave a couple down there too when we uh, get okay. down to uh, our son's house. Okay, so why don't we take a couple? Do you want to take the box or just take a couple? Take a couple, it's oh. fine. I, I like those. Those are one of my favorites, you know yeah, that. These are good, I like these. Yeah. One of the things we always take with us is this. We bought this a couple, three years ago, honey. We got it at like Best Buy for like 20 bucks. Yeah, it's... Um, USB and a plug and it works off your cigarette lighter. Uh, the only thing about this car is this thing is so far back here you have to like kind of really know where it is to be able to do it. But once it's in you've got the USB uh, and you also have a plug if you have like my, my kids for their computer will plug into there and they can uh, if we're driving this car or even driving one of the other cars they can uh, they can plug their computer in. So the cooler so that's why we like this because the cooler can sit right there. And that way Peg can reach behind and grab stuff as we're driving down the road right. without having to stop and pull over. Right. The size of the cooler is really important when you're doing a really, really short road trip. 
So we did add a couple extra things. I also added inside this, this infamous stovetop stuffing yeah, box. There's still jokes about it. I added also trash bags, extra trash bags from like when we do Kroger. And also I added my banana because we have to have our banana every day. So we're going to get on the road. Yeah, we're finally uh, on the road south. Going to go down and see uh, grandson number two. Uh, first time we've seen him, he was born New Year's Eve. And uh, we were not allowed in because of the COVID restrictions of the hospital. Um, so this is the first chance we're going to get to see grandson number two, who's just a little over a week old now. What, eight days old is all he is? Yeah, he is. Um, he wasn't very big. He, no. He is about, he was about three weeks early. We are very excited to see him. And I know everybody thinks that we can see them right away. No, you can't. You can't because of the whole new, everything that's going on right now. We were sort of disappointed because we did see our first grandson. We were we were in the hospital uh, the, the day, well, I guess the day after he was born. Right, a couple days, like the day after he was born. So it was, for us, this is a new, this was pretty new and it was pretty weird. It's, it's the new reality. Yeah, it was really weird that we had to wait. So We just see pictures, but my other children, our other children got to see him first. Yeah, they, they've already been down to Indianapolis to see uh, to see him. Um, we have not yet, so this will be our first chance to see grandbaby number two. Now, we're going to see grandson number one tomorrow. Uh, they're going to bring, uh, bring grandson number one over. We haven't seen much of him either because of COVID, which uh, kind of disappoints me because, I, I mean, I love my grandkids, and I want to be able to see him more. Yeah, it's, are you guys also having issues where you can't really see your family, immediate family? I would just want to know whether there are certain people that you wish you could see and you can't during this whole time. This has been really the biggest challenge for us is that whenever we go anywhere, we're under quarantine. Yeah. So is it with you guys too, where you, if you go someplace, you have to be under quarantine like us? I know that if you travel to different states, supposedly you're supposed to quarantine for 14 days. Um, I know that uh, hopefully as this vaccine starts to get uh, distributed, that might uh, lighten up a little bit. Uh, but I'm actually kind of worried about this new variant of the uh, COVID strain. Uh, they say that the vaccine is going to take care of that as well. But I really don't want to get COVID again. Once was enough to me. I hate driving on concrete, by the way, just so you know. That road noise is killer. But that's what you got to deal with sometimes. It should hopefully be blacktop soon. <laughs> this is loud. We're on blacktop now, and you hear the difference in the road noise. There's, uh, there's still a little bit, but hardly any that uh, compared to what it is on concrete. But uh, does anybody even remember who James Dean was? Do you, hon? I don't know. I thought he only did like one or two movies. Was yeah. that it? And then he got uh, killed in a car crash uh, out of California, I think. But uh, I, I don't think anybody even remembers who James Dean is. But they have a James Dean Museum in Fairmont, Indiana. Getting ready to come up to onto an exit that uh, that I know very very well uh, because it's the exit that uh, we took when my son was going to a Ball State University uh, in Muncie, and there's a couple of people that are really really well known from Muncie. Other than my my son, um, Jim Davis, the guy that created Garfield, uh, born in Marion, Indiana, which is uh, near here, but uh, went to Ball State and created Garfield. And there's, I guess, a Garfield Trail, honey, that you were telling, talking me, telling me about? Yeah, there is a Garfield Trail that is around this town that goes, there's 14 statues. It takes about two hours. There is certain locations. We'll do that tour once after we're done, once COVID has settled down. Yeah, because they, you have to go in certain places, and I don't know whether these places would be open to get a statue. There are 14 statues of Garfield in this area. It takes about two and a half hours to do. So yeah, we're gonna have to do that. And another uh, famous person that uh, graduated from Ball State, like in other than my number two son, is a guy that you might know uh, from television, David Letterman. David Letterman, a graduate of Ball State University. Um, and uh, David Letterman, I guess, is very, very uh, helpful to Ball State University, you might, you might say, uh, donating a lot of money to a Ball State University. Um, all I gotta do is say, chirp, chirp. Uh, yeah. 
Ball State Cardinals. So, yeah, it's coming up on the Muncie Marion exits. And again, uh, we're going to do that Garfield walk uh, maybe this summer once uh, COVID starts lightening up a little bit, right, hon? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So uh, keep stay tuned for a future video on yeah, Ball State University. Yeah, stay tuned for a future video on it because we'll be doing that sometime uh, soon. So we're coming up on Anderson, and uh, horse racing people know Anderson because of Hoos uh, Hoosier Park Racetrack, uh, which is now uh, Hoosier Park Racetrack and Casino, uh, which is now actually, I think it's Harris Casino. Uh, I have not been in that casino in probably, what, four or five years. So I don't know what it's all about, but uh, way over there, you can almost see it, uh, Hoosier Park Racetrack. Uh, they do racing in the summer, and then uh, for the rest of the year, it's all about uh, it's all about the casino. So this whole area kind of has grown uh, retail-wise and restaurant-wise and hotel-wise because of the uh, casino, um, and not because of the racetrack and not because of the area, but because uh, they a lot of casino uh, to come in. Uh, one of a few casinos in Indiana, I might add. Yeah, it's Harris. There's the sign there. It's now Harris Casino. Uh, so uh, Hoosier Park Racetrack and Casino is out, but Harris owns it. So between this exit and the next exit is uh, something that my wife really, really likes, and I don't know why. Uh, I'll let her explain that to you. Do you remember the jingle back in the 70s? NES, TLES, Nestle's makes the very best chocolate. You gotta say it that way. Chocolate. Can you do that again? What, the whole thing? Yeah. N-E-S-T-L-E-S. -E Nestle makes the very best chocolate. And you gotta do it that way, right? Chocolate. Uh, there's a big Nestle factory uh, between the, the uh, two exits here. And they have a sign out in front off the highway that, um, that my wife really, really, really likes. And every time we come down here, she actually has to take pictures of the sign. I don't know why I need to take pictures of the sign. It's probably a childhood memory, because I remember having Nesquik. Yeah, I grew up on Nesquik, too. I mean, Nesquik chocolate, uh, that and Hershey's, uh, Hershey's chocolate syrup. So you put a spoonful of Nesquik in a, uh, in a uh, cup of milk, stir it around, and you've got chocolate milk. You keep saying it's coming up. It's, it's coming, coming up. up. It's coming up. Yeah, at least I know it is coming up. Not like the last time when we went down. Uh, when we went, I was looking for the cross next to the porn shop. Uh, it's uh, below the uh, border of uh, Tennessee. Um, and Kentucky. And I thought it was below the border of Indiana and Kentucky, but no, below the border of Kentucky and Tennessee. Right. So My fault. At least this one we know it's coming up because we do drive this path frequently. So the... Big bunny, well, like I always say, the bunny, the, the bunny. bunny, the bunny. Oh, I love the bunny. I'm sorry, I, I just had a Veggie Tale, so flashback. Remember watching Veggie Tales all the time with the kids, honey? I really liked Veggie Tales. Yeah. Is this still around? Aware. Is my hairbrush? Aware, aware, aware. Oh, aware, there's aware, the aware. factory. There's so the there's the Nestle right factory. And the Nesquik sign is right up there. Bunny. There's the bunny, the Nesquik bunny. Refresh your game with Nesquik. That is one of my favorite things on this road. I have no idea why. It's just a billboard for the most part. It's a sign. But it's a bunny. The bunny, the bunny. Oh, I love the bunny. Well, we're almost there. We'll stop now. We're almost there. So we're going to get off the exit soon. So we're almost there. We're really close. We'll let you know. Boy, this has built up since the last time we came down here. What do you think, hon? Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Wow. Last time we were here, uh, three or four months ago, they were just starting to build a lot of these houses. We're almost there. Ready to go see grandchild number two, honey? Of course. 
who wouldn't be excited to see their grandchild. Let's go see our grandbaby. Am I allowed to put it on YouTube? You can put him on YouTube. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure. He's sleepy. He's, he's sleepy. He's sleepy. He's sleepy. Oh my right gosh. Now. This is our other grandbaby. Say hi, Luna. So we do talk about these people and they do really exist. Mm -hmm. So this is a site I haven't seen, well, since my first grandbaby was born, but this is a, this is a grandbaby number two. And Peg gets told grandbaby number two. Say hi, Peg. Hi. And our grandchildren and our kids do exist. Yes, they do. And so does Luna. Hi, Luna. There's Luna. Luna wants to say hi too, honey. Okay, I'll get down here. Here we go. There. His eyes are starting to open, honey. Grandbaby number two. So here he is. He was born December 31st. What, 12.20 in the morning? 12.24 in the morning. Six pounds, six ounces. And how tall? 19 inches. Six pounds, six ounces, 19 inches. So that's my son who's uh, in the background. We're yeah. not letting you see him. We're trying to keep his incognito still here. Yeah, a little bit anyway. A little bit. But here is our grandbaby, and we finally got to see him. Oh, we got presents, too, by the way. We did? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. What did we get? We got a picture frame, and uh, they're going to put uh, a picture of, this is for me. They're going to put, put, put a picture of me and the, and the grandbaby in this. And then you got... Um, I got this one. It says, uh, I can't read that. Grandma, life is the best life. Yes, that is true. Grandma, life is the best life. You got to say the... You Grandma, say, life is the best life. There you okay. go. You got to have the pronunciation and the phonetics right. Okay. I was still reading it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that down. Here, so. Well, we made it and we got to meet him and you yeah. get to meet him too. Yeah. Here he is. So cute. So small. I just remember when grandbaby number one was this small. Yeah. I will do a video on him too. So... Yep. So uh, thanks for watching our videos. Do appreciate it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below. We'd love for you to do that. Also the bell notification button below. That way you'll get notified when we put up future videos. And I'll tell you what, I'd love for you to like that. Uh, hit that like button as well. Thanks for watching.